up next, we're going to be visiting an extraordinary fortress located at the top of the Alborz Mountains in Iran's Ghazmin province. Built nearly a thousand years ago by the Ismaili missionary Hassan Sabal and his followers, the Hashashins, Alamut Castle, or Hassan Sabal Castle, was strategically placed at the top of these cliffs to make it virtually unreachable by enemy forces. Hassan Sabal was both a strict and disciplined ruler, and he and his followers, unable to mount a formal army, developed a form of warfare based on precise and targeted killings of individuals while all along seeking to do so without loss of instant lives. Their main enemy was the Sejuk Turks who had persecuted the Ismaili people for some time. Now it's important to note that the word assassins is said to come from the Hashashins, which simply means followers of Hassan. Please enjoy as we take you to Alamount Castle. I'm in the Alamut region right now, and I'm going to go to the Alamut Fortress. These are the Alborz Mountains, and they're absolutely amazing. You can see the miles off. It's really silent here, and you can hear the sound of birds. It's absolutely lovely. The difficult thing about this journey is that the road we're traveling on is in the form of a spiral. And the higher we go, the smaller the spiral becomes, making our journey very difficult. But I'm going to go because I have to see this fortress. Sabo Fortress, or commonly known as Alamut Castle, is located in Ghazvin. In the year 1090 AD, Hassan Sabo, the leader of the Ismailites in Iran, chose the Alamut region as his headquarters. This was a turning point for the destiny of Alamut Valley. The result of over two centuries Elamite stronghold over the region is the construction of innumerable castles, of which at least 20 dating back to this era have been identified. I've been walking for like 10 minutes to 15 minutes now, and I finally reached the steps. There's 300 steps to the top, and by the sound of my panting, you can tell it's difficult. So imagine how hard it was for the enemies to get up here. The castle is built on top of a high rock, reaching 2,163 meters above sea level. The rock is 200 meters high, with a steep slope, and is practically inaccessible covering an area of 20,000 square meters, currently not much of the castle is apparent. Wow, look at that! This hole they've made in the mountain was their lookout spot, and from here the view is absolutely breathtaking. From here they were able to see enemies from miles off, and that's why they made it. Archaeologists are still excavating to find remains of the ruins, and this was found in 2008. You can clearly see the walls. This is the main gate and stairway to the fortress, and it's still intact today. In Bano Bano Safari. In Angu Shumami, Dure Safari. The fortress was completely destroyed by Hula Khan's attack and was turned into a heap of ruins. In 1999, the first season of archaeological surveys, lasting 25 days, began under the supervision of Mrs. Fatima Karimi of the Cultural Heritage Organization. And these were the old Oban bars. And what's interesting is that they've only been excavating it since 1997. So almost 13 years ago, this place was nothing just like that. Ismaili period, this used to be the resting room for the soldiers. Can you 
imagine they used to sleep here? نورگیر بوده اینجا صف بودا بالاتر به طبقه بوده این همون طبقه بالا نور میگرفتن پایین دارای نور میشه and what's more fascinating is that Khaj Nasir Tusi practiced the science of astronomy in this very fortress he lived here for 20 years after establishing the Almud cultural heritage the investigation of Hassan Sabo fortress continued from 2001 to 2007 under the supervision of yet another woman, Hamida Chubak. However, since the castle was destroyed by the invading Mongols in the 13th century and buildings constructed on the ruins, this has prevented exact identification of the architecture of the Safavid period atop the ruins of the original Ismailia fort. Not far from the excavations and completely oblivious to the history contained within the grounds close by is the Lake of Orvan. Hassan Sabo had developed an irrigation network and planted many trees and plants around the castle. The name of the Hashashiuns, who came later, was derived from this, as this place became a center for growing different plants, mainly for medicinal purposes. <laughs> <laughs> 